I'm Michael Holsmeister. I'm an operations manager with Arbonomics Turf. And today, Nomi and I are in Marietta, Georgia, and we're on a zoysia grass lawn. And when I pulled up, the first thing I thought was, man, you just got to water the grass a little bit more. It's just dry. There's nothing really wrong here. But that side of the lawn is in good shape. But this one's not doing so well. I think you can see out here, there's a lot of brown and, and, and dry looking grass. So I got my soil probe out. And, and took some samples and sure enough, this property owner has been doing a good job watering that one inch per week in a single deep watering. There is plenty of moisture available to the grass here. There is something else going on. And that something else is spittle bugs. Two line spittle bugs. They're little black bugs, they jump around a lot and uh, they got two orange stripes over their backs on their wings. Both stages of this insect, there's a nymph stage and that's where they get their name. The nymph stage encases itself in a little foam covering that looks like a little ball of spit, spittle. And uh, I, I rooted around and I had to get down deep into the, into the turf, down almost to the ground to finally find some nymphs. Well, one nymph. Uh, most of them, I believe, have hatched because there's a lot of adult insects hopping around out here. I don't know if you're gonna see any flying through the frame here, I hope so. Anyhow. Uh, these bugs, like I said, they're vampires, and they, they pierce the grass and they suck the water and the nutrients from it. We do treat this. We just apply, we've got a couple of insecticides that we can apply that will knock down the spittle bugs, get them killed, get them under control, and get this lawn back to the way it should be, which is nice and green and luxuriant. Down in there is a spittle mass, and that's where one of these immature spittle bugs is sucking the life out of the grass. I really had to dig hard to find this one.